Hey guys. Hey guys, we're back. We just had a bit of a technical issue there with our Zoom. The so, Zoom, uh, yeah, the Zoom broadcasting feature to, to Facebook's just completely just died. Cut us out. So just, um, we do apologize, but we are back. Yes, we are back, and we'll wait for a couple of people to come back on and finish answering their questions. Sorry, just, people. Sorry out there, anyone? Um, why don't you come on in a minute? We'll, we'll attempt to go through this again. Here we go. So, yeah. We got people. So yeah, as before, guys. Yeah. Sorry about that. We had some technical trouble with the, the software we're using. So yeah. um, so drop a question. Hello again. Drop a question. Um, I can't remember where we got up to. No, um, we were. Yeah, we were, I've lost where we're up. For some reason, Zoom cut us out. So yeah. So we're back to straight live. Straight on live Facebook. on Facebook. So we we're about to uh, connect anyone in, but we'll do our best to keep answering questions. Yep. Yeah, a bit of a bugger, am Yeah. <laughs> so, right, uh, sciatic nerve pain, left foot, tenure, left leg. Um, left leg. So, left leg, generally, sciatic pain is the lower back. So, it's n generally speaking, it's not following your feelings. Um, I had a little bit of that one again yesterday myself for the first time in about 10 years. Um, so, in the left, it's about um, female or spiritual. So, generally, I would say you're not following your feelings because you're worried about... Um, you're, I'm guessing, Tanya, you're a female, so I'd say it'll either be about yourself or your daughter or your mother or someone else's opinions or whatever, so, or just not following your spiritual direction. So one of the things that I do for the sciatic pain, it's um, a lot to do with the uh, navel chakra and following your feelings, following your emotions, um, and really being in the moment. So usually we get it a lot of the time when we go i haven't got this and i can't I haven't got enough i can't follow my feelings basically so yeah usually we'll use money as an excuse oh, i haven't got enough time to do this and i haven't got enough time to do that or you know lots of my right? I'm, yeah lots of my cards or you know and I, and I can't do it what i feel to do it's, mm. important. it's mostly about feelings mm -hmm. so one of the things i did i had bad sciatic pain one time and i've gotten rid of it and gotten it back years ago when i first started all this and I just stopped and I was barely able to walk. I couldn't put one foot in front of the other. And I said, screw this. I know that this is crap. And I've been like it for two, three days. I was using a rope to get myself up off the bed to get vertical because I couldn't even oh, bend. Poor you. <laughs> and I just thought, no, nah, I know this. I can fix this. I'm not following my feelings. What am I doing? And I was walking down to the swimming pool with all the kids. And I was on the grass about halfway down. And I thought, if I had no problems right now, what would I want to do if I had nothing to worry about? And I was looking down at the pool. I said, well, right now I'd run down to the pool and I'd start doing somersaults and teach all the kids how to do somersaults <laughs> in the pool. I'm like, well, you can't even walk, so you can't do that. And I said, well, you know, let go and find out. Yeah. You can't do the somersaults because yeah. the nerve will pinch too bad, but you won't be able to run down to the pool. So he said, run down to the pool. So just see if you can run. Just let it all go and see if you can run. And I just gone, okay, and I did it. And I ran down to the pool and I was like, I couldn't believe it because for two days I was walking. I couldn't even get one foot in front of the other. But it's literally about following your feelings. So all the can'ts, I can't do this, mm -hmm. I can't do that. And a lot of your can'ts will be either about uh, the feminine side or about the spiritual side because it's on the left side. Um, so it's like I can't you know, um, give myself more nurturing time or I can't give myself more time to meditate mm -hmm. or I don't, you know, for this reason and that reason. But just follow the feelings, basically. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, yeah, that, that one we could probably, I could probably talk you through it a bit more if we had a face to face. So we do do face to faces. We do. And um, like, you know, within half an hour, we could probably nail down most of the issues about that one. I could, um, we could work through that. If you're interested, doing okay. a session, one on one session yeah. after. So stomach pain, feeling sick at times. Diane, Diane Radley. Um, so, Diane, most stomach pains, again, it's all, this is all about feelings and emotions. And feeling sick is usually, um, um, feeling sick is usually your intuition talking to you, telling you that whatever you're thinking is going to happen mm -hmm. or is, is going to happen or you think is happening. So you might be thinking about your kids getting, um, so you could be making, yeah, you could be making lots of conclusions, yeah. lots of assumptions about what you think is going to happen in a certain scenario, right? So you go, oh, my kids are staying out late. You know, this is one of the ones for, mm -hmm. for me because I've got a lot of them, <laughs> six kids and they're all adults now. <laughs> so kids are staying out late. Oh, they're going to, something's going to happen. Something bad's going to happen. Or yeah. And then I'll get that vomiting, sick feeling or the, you know, the pain in the stomach. And that's my intuition saying, no, nothing bad's going to happen. Yes, they might be out late. They might be getting in trouble, but nothing bad's going to happen. Mm. So it doesn't mean that both parts of what you're thinking are wrong, but usually one part or the other. Yeah. So when you get a vomiting, sick feeling, um, it's often that. And again, you can use the 
feel the pain, feel the sickness and say, is what I'm thinking or feeling, because it's not always what you're thinking, sometimes what sometimes you're feeling, like feeling yeah, and absolutely. that's when it's harder to hard diagnose. You go, it's what I was just feeling, whatever that was, is that not true? And then if you'll get less sick, you go, oh, okay, get rid of that. You know, get, check it's it really as simple as that, you know, and the, the less you think about it, the more it sort of seems to work, right? Yeah. You know, and there's generally always some truth in it, right, John? Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, so again, we've got another one without Saskia. Um, you get sick, cyclic, cyclic vomiting syndrome. syndrome. Sometimes I'm sick for weeks at a time, can't eat and drink, so I use hydrolyte to keep hydrated. Yeah, so a lot of that, it sounds like you've got a, multiple issues there with the cyclic vomiting. Again, the vomiting, people out there, the vomiting is literally your intuition talking to you. Whatever you're thinking mm. or feeling is bad or is not going to work out or is going to happen, it's it's not, you know, I, yeah. I have... I had a simple one here last year and I turned into the exorcist almost. I vomited so far outside. <laughs> Should so have seen it. It was, it was like, wow, there was so much fluid coming out. I'm like, that was like 20 litres. I can't fit that much inside. But all I was thinking is I wanted to go home to my place. You didn't even clean it off was, my driveway. I was, I was here with John and I was like, it was getting late and I wanted to go home because I was feeling in a good space and I wanted to go home and listen to my music because I was listening to other music here. Mm. And I thought my flatmate was home. And he's always up late and he's been drinking and stuff. And I kept saying that and I go, oh, no, I don't want to sit there with him because he's yeah. been drinking. And, and I kept sort of saying that to myself and I've got that vomiting feeling and I, I fought with it. And I'm like, because he's always home at that time. Always. And always, I said. Yeah, that's another one of our command mm -hmm. things. But um, I ended up going, oh, I started feeling sick. I went out to the car. I went to go and I just like vomited everywhere. So anyway, I got home and... Oh, behold, behold, he's not there. For the he first, wasn't home. For the first time in two years, he wasn't <laughs> home. And that was my intuition trying to tell me, go home, he's not home. But my yeah, head yeah. was, there was no reason. He always is home at that night after the pub, he always comes mm -hmm. home. So our number one tool is what we call check in with your inner guru, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's really just working with your intuition. Yes. You know, listening to yourself, listening to your body, listening yeah. to what it's trying to tell you to you, what your soul is trying to tell you, I guess. You know, yeah. you're a child. Or so also, Saskia, you say it at you can't eat or drink, so you have to use hydrolytes to keep hydrated. So a part of not being able to eat or drink with that is not being able to do, so a lot of reflux, a lot of that sort of stuff, mm. is not being able to digest what you think's going on. Yeah. Not, not accepting it, going, oh, look, you know, there's people who do it. And it might actually be what is going on and you can't digest it because right. people around you are supposed to be family or friends or whatever and they're being mean or something. Could be as simple as that. You just don't want to digest the fact that your intuition is telling you that somebody around you is doing something, and you don't want to believe it. So that, and then you you can't digest it. That's a big cause. Right. Absolutely. That's a big cause of reflux. I get that and you know, um, you know, um, all that. And how do we deal with that then? So we just say, look, I, I don't know. I'm just going to digest it bit by bit. You just, just I just use the word. I'm going to digest that that information. I'm going to digest that feeling. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't like it, I'm sure the universe will sort it out. I'm just going to digest it slowly, slowly. I'm just going to take that feeling, that thought down and digest it through. And the universe or God or whatever, the great spirit will, will work it out. And it'll get digested. It'll be filtered through the system and it'll be crapped out. And just let it go. And just let it go bit by bit. Just yeah. tell yourself slowly, slowly. Okay, I'm going to digest that information. I'm going to digest that feeling. I'm going to digest it. And maybe I should look at it a little bit. You know, and, and we find that that's not 80 to 90% of it, right? It's just, just doing that. It's just saying that to yourself, agreeing that, you know, you might not know what it is, but I'll digest it. I'll, I'll, I'll you know, whatever, whatever it's going to be. I'm not going to make any assumptions or conclusions around it and just let it go. Take a deep breath. Yeah. And see how you feel. So Emily, you're asking about lower spine, cervical spine and brain. So lower spine, again, this is about your grounding. It's about the base chakra, second chakra stuff. So. And spine in general is just about feeling supported or not being able to support, feel supported by the universe sometimes, by other people. Uh, the neck, the cervical part, I'm not quite sure what you mean about brain, but the neck is definitely issues because it's one that I've only just cleared as well. Again, the neck is about communication problems. It, and mm. it could be just communication with yourself. It could be the communication between your head and your heart or between your heart and your emotions. It could be a, a communication that you're not telling the people around you what you need to say. Um, you could be just not sticking to your word. It could be that simple. Right. You are saying one thing and doing another. Um, it's a it's a communication problem, but often it's communication between ourselves yeah. and ourselves. So it's she's got a bit more down the bottom there, John. Where are we, Emily? Um, lower spine break and slippage affecting both my legs. A brain injury causes a lot of fogginess, memory issues, slight light sensitivity. Yeah. So the 
that's all spinal issues. So it's all about support. And if it's a spine break, um, broken bones generally are a build up of resentment. Resentment, that's right. Um, another one of the another one of my favourites. Had a, quite a few of them. <laughs> um, so you, you've got resentment building up inside of you, and it, and it might not be because of you. It might be because you're resenting the fact that you're putting up with shitheads around you. <laughs> we can swear, right? Yeah, we're pretty sure we can swear. Yeah. Um, so you okay. might be putting up with a, um, annoying people, or you, you know, you're just not putting yourself first. It sounds like you've got a lot of spine issues there. The fogginess is going to be caused a lot by the compression of the discs in the spine. So I would say the first thing for you to work on, Emily, is getting your communication proper. Mm. So that means probably I'd say, I'm guessing, you're going to have to tell a few people to piss off mm. and get people that are fucking... Start reclaiming uh, some of your space. Get, get your space back, feel it a bit supported, support yourself through spirit and just cut some of these people out that are just fucking baggage on mm, you. Yeah, okay. She needs to tell someone to back off. Yeah, you need to back some, off. I don't know, family, friends, mm. partner. I don't, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it sounds like, it feels like there's a lot of people hanging mm. on you. Yeah. Um, and you're just going to have to say, look, you know, you've got a, if you've got no health and you've not, you're no use to anyone. Mm. If it's like, absolutely. It's like everyone goes around trying to help everyone, but you know, that's the old saying, don't help anyone until your cup's running out of right? Mm -hmm. So your cup runneth over until your, your health runneth over. Until this is why I stopped helping people about two years ago because my health was just getting in decline. Yep. And I said, that's it. I'm not helping anyone yep. because I was helping all the people that didn't really want it. They were asking me, but they weren't really listening. Yeah, absolutely. And so I just cut nearly everyone out except for this bloke here. Hey, I'm and, still here. <laughs> and I cut nearly everyone out because they weren't I started actually, cutting people out about a year ago. They weren't actually <laughs> doing anything with it. He was actually working with the tools. He was yeah. really applying them and that. So I just made sure, and then all of a sudden, over the next couple of months, my health just started to come back in leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds, now. right? Yeah. I'm 50 nearly 50 now, again. and I'm back to flying over the lounge and doing flips over the lounge. He is. It's he probably uh, comes <laughs> flying over this lounge and I'm lying and it freaks the shit doing out. Doing nin ninja kicks over the lounge <laughs> now. You know, two years ago, I could barely walk. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, with, with the brain, a lot of that, the light sensitivity, the fogginess, um, a lot of that, Emily, you probably, I would say you've got a lot of calcium buildup and so I'd be stick, I don't know if you drink town water or whatever, but mm. I wouldn't be drinking any of that. I'd be getting alkaline water as much mm. as possible. The um, so get the spring alkaline water, um, get real alkaline water. That's going to help flush a lot of the um, toxins and stuff out as well, mm -hmm. but really start working on your flexibility in your communication and your communication. It's really tough. Sometimes you, people are so used to you doing the same thing over again, you, even your own kids, you know? John's, right, yeah. John's been going through I've a bit of that tonight. <laughs> about putting his foot down yeah. with his kids. And, and you they... know, some, sometimes, you know, with what, what I'm learning anyway, it's just you've got to admit to them. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah, I messed up. You know, yeah, okay, I, I let you get away with that for quite a while now. But now I'm making the choice to, to stop that behavior and yeah. to start correcting it, you know? you know? So it's not, it's not about me looking back and then getting you know, angry or pissed off or judging myself for, you know, the the behavior I've let fly, you know, it's just about saying, okay, now enough from from now forward, we're going to start, we're going to change, we're going to do things differently, yeah. you know? All right. So hopefully that's a help, Emily. But again, Good any of you guys will get, we'll go down to Tracy. Um, so any of you guys want to go a bit more in depth in this, we do do live sessions and we have got a special one at the moment. So um, you can click on our link and connect us through here or through bequest yeah just drop um, through here. if you look on the uh if you look on the live events we've got our bequest site there so drop a message through there or here to us mm -hmm. and we'll um we have got a couple of free ones going at the moment Absolutely. if you're willing to go live and share them so it's normally 150 but i've got five free ones at the moment so <laughs> if you're willing to share it let us record snap it live snap them up um there's five free readings going um so tracy, tracy. So you've got Awful pain under the left rib. So Tracy, I'm guessing this is probably someone else's issue. Mm. It's okay. So just do us a favor right now, Tracy, just feel the pain if it's there, right? And just say, who does that belong to? Or is that mine? And feel if it gets less intense or more intense while mm. you say that. Don't worry about the answering the question. Mm. Just say, just ask the question. is that mine? And if it gets less strong, less painful, just say, Fuck off, we'll return the sender, sender or get away or piss off. Get out of my know? space. And then repeat that three or four times and see if it see if the pain goes away. I think you'll find you're trying to fix the issue and it's not your issue. You're picking yep. up somebody else's pain. And on the left side, I'm guessing it's another female, so your daughter or your mother. It's usually the closer females around you, daughter, mother, best friend, something like that. It's probably mm -hmm. one of their pains. 
but it might not even be theirs originally. So yeah, everyone right. passes it on. So it's under your left rib too. So it's going to be about fear. It's going to be kidneys and fear issues that somebody's got. The nauseousness you're feeling is you're trying to fix something that's not yours. Yeah, so you're, in a, you're, it's your inter- you're in a guru, right? You're in a guru. Your intuition is trying to tell you the pain's not yours. It's not yours. So just feel it. Say, is that not mine? Is that not, is that does that pain belong to me? And it's like, no. Okay, return the sender or get rid of it. Or yeah, stop. and that can take a couple of times. You right? might have to repeat it five, six, seven times. That's right. But don't think about who it belongs to. Yeah, you ask absolutely. That question or don't think. It, just ask and feel it. Stay in the feeling. Feel it. And if it gets less painful, even a little bit, five percent less, just say piss off or whatever you want to say. Return mm. sender, and then repeat it four, five, six times. Um, um, then it's these are these are the tools. We've got all these tools on our Facebook, which yeah, we'll chuck a we'll, link up in a minute. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll maybe ju- after because it's probably yeah. a bit technically challenged right now. But yeah. um, we, we've so, got a bunch of our tools that we've done videos on. So and, we've done short versions of these for free on yeah. on YouTube as well. So just explaining how to check in with these. How, a lot of our feelings, and and I'm guessing on this page, where most of us are um, empathetic, empathetic. We're, mo- we're mostly in our feelings most of the time. Yeah. And we can pick up thousands of people's feelings at the same time. It's yeah, like absolutely. Autistic kids, my, one of my exes had an autistic son and he couldn't even go near her within about three feet. And I used that. I said, who does that belong to? Return to sender. And I was just focusing on him. And he would scream when you'd even look at him, right? And I did this for about 10 minutes. I'm like, no, no, look, who does that belong to? Return to sender. And I just kept pushing my hands out. Who does that belong to? Just the feelings, the thoughts, the emotions, all yeah. of them. 90 percent of them are plus 99 percent of us for some of us it's very not our thoughts feelings, very and emotion. To find your own and it's um, like you know pains and it's so ridiculous because i've worked this on people who don't believe anything and if, i have one mate who's going to go in for a liver operation almost and, and he thought this was ridiculous and i just made him do it and he'd had that pain constantly for two weeks he was ready to go to the doctor and he cleared it and it freaked him instantly. out instantly Cleared it instantly, it freaked him out, never seen Almost him again. Almost flatlined him, eh? <laughs> never, was just like, what? never seen him again. He ran away. Oh. But, <laughs> um, oh, Angela. Angela, pinching sensation. In the in right my... neck, shoulder, or just shooting pain in the upper arm. Yeah, so right neck, shoulder. Again, this is communication problems. It's throat chakra. Communication. Um, could be communication with yourself, as we said before, between your head and your heart, between your emotions and your head. And it could be its right shoulder. So I'm guessing this is a communication problem with a male, probably your husband or your son or your father. Mm. It's usually the closer males to us or your boss. If yep. you have a boss. Absolutely. Um, so and shooting into the neck and right shoulder. So this is about being flexible in your physical direction and being flexible with how you're dealing with males, generally speaking. Mm. Uh, again, all of these things, it's much easier for me if next time we get Zoom working properly, <laughs> We can come on live and we, if I ask you a few questions back, face we can face, really yeah. nail it down straight up, straight away to yep. which people it's involved with and you can um, just choose to let it go and choose to face the problem and go, it's okay. probably pretty similar for Carissa here as well, having issues with my neck, creating yeah. extreme exhaustion. Yeah, so neck, again, neck, neck is, is, generally neck is communication. communication problems. It's also power issues. So the mm. throat chakra has got to do with power. So not owning your own power, mm-hmm. you know, have people having power over you. Your boss has power over you. Or your family has power, or your kids have power over you sometimes. Okay, okay. <laughs> don't tell the people. Yeah, don't tell the people. Don't, 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 don't people. <laughs> they are, they are issues. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of neck pain. You know, I've, I've just cleared a lot of mine after years and years because I wasn't speaking my truth to people. Uh, I wasn't speaking my truth to myself, and I just said, "Fuck it," I couldn't deal with the pain anymore, <laughs> and. Um, it was just yeah Tina? done. Tina. So Tina, we've left knee left, pain left periodically. Knee. Couldn't walk properly yesterday due to okay. pain, but today I'm fine. So left knee pain. Left knee is generally got to do with solar plexus, and it's got to do with anger issues mainly. Mm-hmm. So left knee again. This will be probably a female. You're either pissed off with yourself or your spiritual direction, and you're not being flexible enough with it. Mm-hmm. So there's um, if you probably you might find you get a bit of swelling in the back of it. Um, that's the build up of the inflammation and stuff like that, and it's just. Not moving. If the if the um, a lot of time when you've got the swelling behind the knee, um, that's because you're not willing to move forward and change your direction, your spiritual direction, you're, or you're not willing to be flexible in the way you deal with yourself or another woman um, or your spiritual direction. But it's generally got to do with flexibility, and it's got to do with being angry about your direction, your spiritual direction, or your personal direction because you're a female. 
Um, so that that will be the the main issues there. Again, mm. these are much easier for me. Down, it's only being watered down. Yeah. So if it's you know it it's just be flexible um, and and get some. It's, it's your personal self esteem. So the solar plexus is you're angry because you're not speaking your truth. You're not fucking doing things your way. You're not mm. applying yourself, or you're or you're being blocked from applying yourself by another woman, by right. your mother, or boss if she's a female or something like that or maybe your kids are walking all over you or something i don't know if you've got you love kids. that example don't you i do i do i've got six of them you've got three of them we should know <laughs> so six girls um, between us too yeah so all right all right so moving on we've got lots uh, more da, 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 keep going da, 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 down a further uh, yeah sorry um oh, yeah. sorry we missed disappeared before we had a problem with um with zoom, um, zoom which we got to bring people on live, but um, there is, um, yeah, the problem with that. So we're on here live now. And if we, as I said before too, by the way, guys, I'm giving away five free half an hour live readings if you want to do it live on Facebook for our promotion. So if you go on to Bequest Wellbeing, and which is linked in the events page and message me on there, message John or whatever. Um, you can come on and get a free half hour reading as well. Mm -hmm. um, so again, pain in the lower back, Marie. Um, again, lower back nearly all the time is not following your feelings. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of the reason we don't follow our feelings is because we use money or time as the reason. Oh, you know, I just feel like going and sitting down and reading a book. Oh, right. I haven't got enough time. The kids need to be playing. Oh, you know, I've got to clean the house. I've got to go and go to Could work. it also be because of maybe stuff that's happened in the past as well? It's, it's gen generally because it's on the back. You yes. to judge the current yeah, situation. Yeah, the lower back. And that's that's the reason you use. That's the excuse you use to not yeah, follow your feelings. that's right. I can't follow my feelings because I haven't got enough time because, I, you know, in the past we've run out of money and I haven't got enough time to give myself. It's all of this not following your feelings. Lower back pain. It's one that I've worked with so many people and you're usually not following it because of money, because of your partner, because you're making some reason from the past why you haven't got the time or you haven't got the money or you haven't got, haven't got, haven't got, haven't mm. got. It's just always those, I can't follow my feelings. My feelings say, hey, just go and sit down on the beach for 10 minutes. And it's like, well, I can't because the kids will go mental. It's like, I'm mm. sure that somebody will come along and pick your kids up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> A, it's a pretty safe society over here. The police will return it to you eventually. <laughs> it's the, it's a, but you know, the, these are these are main issues with the lower back is not following your feelings. Pretty much about hypothyroidism. Oh, I think that's it's gonna, gonna be, be a one -on -one. yeah, that's a that's a big one. Hypothyroidism again, there's gonna be a lot of Little communication stuff. problems. There's gonna be a lot of um I think you're gonna have find you've got a lot of um fluoride problems yeah. and stuff. Got drinking that. um drinking fluoride water and stuff. So there's gonna be a combination. But the body's not going to clear that out without a good, because hypothyroid is, is a lot to do with throat chakra. So it is, again, a lot to do with communication mm. and power issues. People having power over you or you feeling powerless, you know, the system has power over yeah. us. That's probably one that we'd have to do. Yeah, but it's, it's something where I'd have to result. explore other, other things. If you're interested, you, contact Rita. us. So you can send a, um, yes, contact Bequest Wellbeing, drop a message. If, as we said, we're giving three, uh, five, three. Five sessions. Half hour sessions if yep. you if you're willing to do them live Come and on let's live. leave them on the Facebook as a as a promotional. Um, bad burning in the shoulder blade while working. <laughs> uh, which shoulder blade, Karen? Um, left or right? Um, while working, if it's in the shoulder blade, generally issues on our back have got to do with the past, as John was mentioning before. Yep. So when we feel something, that's about our past. So we're saying we can't, you know, this job sucks or something. And so, I can't leave it because of you know this or that because I committed to it and I told them I'd stay here or some some sort of reason like that. But the burning sensation, a lot of that's going to do with not you know you're not following your heart. It's in shoulder blade, so if it's left or right, I generally say if it's left, it's going to be more to do with a female. If it's right, it's more to do with a male. Yeah. Um, and then you'll be able to narrow it down. The burning sensation is telling me that it's got a lot to do with the solar plexus, which is your self-esteem, your self-worth and stuff. That's why it's got a burning sensation. And it's a really good one. A burning sensation is actually a really good one to cause a transformation. So if we can narrow that down to who it is, mm. that could cause a really good transformation for you because the burning sensation, that, that's indicating that it's ready to be cleared out and it's an issue from Absolutely. the past. 
about a male or a female. And these things can be cleared like that, right? If we find the right thing, we nail it down. Um, I've had it happen to me, you know, I've had um, back pain go, I've had um, pain through the top of my head, I've had pain in my nose, blocked nose even just opens up, Yeah. Um, all kinds of things. So. Yeah, so that's, there are, this is an intuitive thread, but yes, it's easy to do. Jenny, it, seems, it seems to be most people are asking us about Jen, their body aches, Jen. Jen yes, it is. I mean, this is the one to, anything. Be, to be more specific to intuit. Um, mm. But cramps, cramps in your left foot, again, what I was saying before, left foot has generally got to do with your spiritual direction or your personal direction because you're a female. So the, um, the cramps, first of all, take magnesium because um, that's going to help with cramps. Um, that's going to help with that side of it. But other than the magnesium, you're probably finding if your foot, if you stand a little bit pigeon toed or a little bit um, Charlie Chaplin ish, <laughs> whatever that one is. So if you just stand normally and see if your toe, one foot's pointing to the left or pointing inwards more. If it's pointing inwards, it's generally you've got a fear of your direction, your spiritual direction if it's on the left, or your physical direction if it's on the right. And if it's pointed outwards, you're resisting your physical direction. So the cramp is often it moving back in, or if it's in the arch of your foot, Jen, the, um, the cramps in the arch of the foot is you're worrying too much. The arches are going flat and it's causing cramps, or you're not worrying less. Yeah. It could be a positive thing, which yeah. I'm probably picking up more. I think you've started worrying less about things and maybe the arches in your foot are lifting up. Yeah. It feels like it's a correction. It yeah. feels like you're doing something okay. right and it's just part of the correction in your foot. Um, you know, I had that in the back of my shoulder, right? Yeah. Uh, a couple so, of days ago, I'd, I'd released quite a lot through a big emotional out, outpour, right? And um, I had a, a muscle in my shoulder blade on the left side, which which really just undid itself. And that, that was quite painful, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so fibromyalgia. What's that? That's, I don't know. Chronic fatigue. That's a, I'm not yeah, sure I know what chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue is you're just doing too much for everyone. Um, Janet, <laughs> Janet Faye, um, fibromyalgia. I think that's is that to do with the nerves. If it's to do with the nerves, it's a communication problem. Mm. Um, that's the basics of it. That's the emotional side. The, the yeah. chronic fatigue again is just doing everything for everyone else and not putting yourself first. Not, not putting, putting yourself first. first. And 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 helping people is not helping people. You know, one of our favourite. Um, mm readings that we read every morning is the Mary Williamson quote that's uh, our deepest fear is not wet let me straighten it okay. so one of the quotes we have is our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure it is our light not our darkness that most frightens us we ask ourselves who am I to be brilliant gorgeous talented fabulous actually who are you not to be you are a child of God and your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We are born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. And that's the key there, Janet. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Mm. So if you want to help people, Free yourself, liberate yourself. Absolutely. Your presence, your vibration of frequency will be doing more for them than, than it ever will to do anything for them directly. Yeah. And a lot of communication problems is just that. Um, flat chested, flat chested or breasted. You know, this is one of the, my favorite ones <laughs> <laughs> that pushes some buttons. <laughs> um, you know, this is not nurturing other people with what they need. You know, this, this is when I... When, I'm just starting to work on it again because I'm just starting to say this straight out. I'm sick of holding it back. And, and it's just like, be yourself. That's nurturing other people what they need. Absolutely. So your body's telling us, like thinner lips. If you've got thin lips, you've got these uh, very judgmental attitude. It's the top lip, you're mentally judgmental. Don't tell the people. Don't tell the people. It's like, if it's a bottom lip that's very thin all the time, if you, hot, if you have this attitude for years and years, then your lips thin enough. If you want to thicken your lips out a bit, then just have a more relaxed attitude. Just say, uh, well, it is what it is. I'll do what I do. They will do what they will do. I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> These things. And if you've got that, if you've got that attitude over and over again for months and months, your lips will thicken up and you won't need yeah. Botox. You know? yep. And if you've got your attitude and you do get Botox and you hold that attitude, your lips are going to stay thin and the Botox is going to spread over your face. It's it's like, <laughs> so, so, but, the, you know, it's not going to make them super thick or whatever, but, you know, you can actually increase your lips thickness, your chest size, your butt 
just by changing your body shaping. Yes, conscious body shaping. Conscious body shaping. It's changing your attitude, body shaping. Changing your attitude changes the shape of your body. But it takes courage, right? It takes courage and it takes persistence. And you've got to be willing to look at it and own your own shit. Absolutely. You you can't not fucking own your own shit and you can't or you can't take little bits of it and go yeah you can't yeah you can't just pick <laughs> bits out and go i'm gonna fix this and i'm gonna fix that but i'm not gonna worry about that piece over yeah there. no um, that way. all right nadine not sure if this can be addressed clot in left leg with associated chest pain that radiates right side and central oh clot in left leg Probably, but that's yeah. that's really a doctor issue um yeah. but you know that, anything well. yeah that, that's like really clot in left leg that's really dangerous because that's that's Heartache, heart attack material. Um, but chest in pain, again, this is the fear. This is not following your feelings. I had the heart arrhythmia, which I fixed. The operation didn't. But just speaking my truth and listening to my heart by saying what I need to say, even yeah. though, I, you know, I'd say to my kids, and go, no, what's up? And they go, nothing. I go, okay. And it's like, no, something's up. You don't have to tell me, but I know something's up if you want to tell me. If not, go on. I'll do your thing. Mm-hmm. You and so just speaking from your heart, speaking what you know, speaking that truth. Whether And, you, know, and you can even open it out by just saying, look, you know, it kind of something just doesn't feel right. Or, you know, I'd like to talk to you about this. I'm just not sure how to how to open up on that or how to start this conversation. You know, that can that can generally be enough of a softening yeah. to, to open up into a conversation from the heart rather than just diving in or going on the fence. Yes. Like so sorry, Sarah. We can't do the convo because the Zoom thing screwed Zoom us around. Facebook Live <laughs> crashed. It crashed. And that's why we lost the live feed because Zoom crashed. But next week we'll be able to speak live, which yeah. is really what we prefer to do because we really get more in depth with that. Um, it really goes straight, straight. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, Beverly. Uh, hi, John. Hey, Beverly. Hey. Uh, wondering on dizziness, not being able to focus at all in general in the last couple of months. Well, last couple of months have been big, big times. Big shifts, issues. Consciousness shifts, you know. I've, you know, people are, I've had fallouts. My, three of my oldest kids don't even talk to me at the moment, <laughs> which is really <laughs> oh, sort of uh, really rare for me because, you know. Um, nice so, but, you know, this the shift that, that's happening, um, the dizziness, I think you might find, Beverly, is actually a positive thing. Mm. Your chakras are opening up. When your chakras vortex, the crown chakra, the third eye and stuff like that, just breathe deep, breathe into the belly. Put your hand on your belly, breathe deep and go, oh, this is freaky. I wonder if I can go more. I wonder if I can go deeper. And just get, if you can sit, sometimes if you can sit through the dizziness. Mm. If it's low blood pressure, again, go to your doctor. Go to your doctor. Oh, God, every, everyone, guys, <laughs> just check with your doctor because yeah. I, this, none of this is diagnosis. This is energy side. This is yeah. um, the emotional content. And I, 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 I go to the doctor myself. I don't yep. take the medication, but I still go to the doctor for the diagnosis and that. Dizziness is can be low blood pressure. It can be heart palpitations. Um, if you're getting heart fluttering and stuff like that, which a lot of people are getting at the moment, there's a mm. lot of stuff going on. A lot there. of communication issues lately. And there's a lot of stuff going on with the, uh, the energetics and stuff and the 5G rollout and stuff. So that's causing heart flutters left, right and centre as well. It, so, it could also help maybe just by like when you're feeling that, just sort of going, okay, yeah. rather than sort of fight it or stress yeah. about it or worry about it, just acknowledge that it's there and it's actually, this this may be positive. Yeah. So right? for, and, and there's different areas of dizziness. You can get dizziness sort of just in the head. You can get dizziness sort of all over. Mm. If it feels like a dizziness, it's all around your head and the upper body or right down the whole body, that's best one when it goes to the whole body and the ground feels like it disappears that means your chakras base chakra and ground chakra are opening up Ooh. fully you're shifting into the seventh tenth twelfth dimension there so if you can go That's through fun. that and breathe through it just breathe, breathe and go, oh this is freaky i wonder if this yeah, is a positive thing the but just ask when it's happening mm. first of all use your use your what we call our inner guru and if it feels light if it gets less intense so ask when you get dizzy, say, is this a positive thing, right? Mm. And as you're getting dizzy, go, is this a positive thing? And if it gets less dizzy, then you know it is. And you know it's positive. So try and breathe through it. It's actually your consciousness is expanding, your chakras are opening, you're shifting into other dimensions. You can see things from more dimensions sometimes. Again, if it's dizziness from low, low blood pressure um, or from the heart palpitations or heart fluttering, um, that might be something you need to see the doctor about mm. or, you know, could be toxic, it could yep. be toxins and stuff like that as well. 
Again, guys, I would get anyone get off town water. Do not drink town water, whatever you do. That shit's wild. And even the most of the bottled water, make sure you get the alkaline stuff because it just doesn't absorb into the cells. You won't go back. So Believe me, I, I converted over about a year ago. Once you drink alkaline spring water. Even my kids um, will walk up now to the fountain and, yeah. and my four-year-old walks up and just and goes, And that will start yeah, flushing a lot of the toxins, a lot Incredible. of the, a lot of the fluoride juice. and shit out of the glands and that, that because the glands are all... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Saskia, well, that, that's easy, Saskia. Just the top lip's thinner, then just don't be so judgmental with your mind. Mm. It's like that's just your mental thoughts, and it's probably not yours. It's probably what you've been programmed. Yeah. It's what you picked up from other people, what you think you're supposed to think about life. There is no right or wrong. There is no good or bad. There's right action and wrong action, but there's mm. no right or wrong, good or bad. That's duality. There's, yep. you know, the God is benevolent. He does not judge. You know, it's like there's one power. There's one force. Some people use it for the dark side and some people use it for the light. We go with Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> so, so that's, right. you know, uh, that if you can, you can just practice it, just go, oh, well, it doesn't matter. And feel your lip, as you say. Mm. Oh, well, when you think about something, go, oh, well, it doesn't matter. And you'll feel your lip just to get a little bit, a little bit more relaxed. It'll fill out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just try it. Just go, ah, oh, well, I don't give a shit. It's, like, it's not my problem. I don't incredible. know where I bought that from. And then you'll just feel it. Just and then if you keep repeating that, just keep doing it. You know, all it. you have to do is repeat it like you know three or four thousand times a day for three months, and you'll get the <laughs> 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 it's cheaper than both of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go down a bit, John. All right. Oh, daughter, the daughter's getting ulcers all Tracy. the time. Sorry. So ulcers. Um, is that in the stomach, Tracy? Uh, Tracy, the or in the mouth. In the mouth yeah, or we'll in the going. stomach? So Might if you can message us back, yeah, Tracy, if it's the mouth or stomach. Uh, um, thank you. Uh, well, so, well, go back up to the blood clot in the kidneys. The Jenny. Had a blood clot in my kidneys two years, years ago. ago painful, painful, scary. scary. Yeah, yeah so. There. War, warfarin and all. Oh, yeah, I was on that. I wouldn't touch that stuff again for my life. <laughs> but kidneys, blood clot, kidney, anything to do with kidneys has got to do with fear. So you're probably picking up a lot of other people's fear or buying into fears of society or the world or something like that. So kidney issues has generally got to do with yeah, fear and bladder, bladder issues as well. So cool. Yeah. So All right. So what have we got there? Lorna, finding I'm gathering a lot of tension in the neck and shoulders. The right shoulder is the tightest. Happens every few weeks. Uh, I've had a big few months, including my dad passing over in December. Yeah. What is the tightness indicative of? The tightness is, well, tightness is indicative of holding on. Um, it's also got to do with guilt. So just stay there for a sec. Mm -hmm. um, so it's tension in the neck and shoulders. So neck and shoulders is at the back. So you've got probably got a lot of guilt about what you didn't say to your dad before he passed or what you did say to him, if it was bad things you said to him. Um, but, you know, that, that's just judgments. It's like we don't know what's bad, what's good. You know, that's just us being... Mm -hmm deciding what's bad or good Bingo. you know so and you know he's only passed over he's still there so just go back and say look you know i'm, I'm sorry i didn't say this or i did say that yeah and talk to you him you can just just talk just to him, or do him it like, like or... he's there just you know if you can't if that that doesn't sit with you write it out write it out just yeah, write it out in a letter so before when my dad was dying i couldn't speak to him because he didn't want to speak emotionally and that and i'd had a one year death experience and so I wrote it in the letter and I'm like, Dad, I fucking hated it when you did this when I was a kid. But now that I'm a father, I understand. So I wrote both sides. I said, told him how much I hated certain things that he did. And then I also told him how much I understand now as an adult and I appreciate it. And I appreciate his discipline and stuff like that. I just wrote both things out. And when he was dying, it was one of the best experiences of my life. He was dying, took him over a few months from cancer. No. And no. We, just, we had an awesome time. My sisters hated it, but me and my dad loved it because we'd cleared all the past. Mm. But you don't have to do it before they die. You can do it afterwards. You can just, so the right tension, it's guilt. Um, generally speaking, muscles has got tightness to do with guilt. And in the neck and that, I'd say there's also gallbladder liver issues because gallbladder meridian runs through there. So you're probably anger and guilt. And it's probably, it's all about the past. It's about not saying stuff mm. to your dad or not thinking you could or him not judging what he did or didn't say to you. He's still here, by the way. It's like, so they're, they're always around, you know, but just, you know, you can just He's speak, willing to listen. To, to speak, speak straight to them. Just all write it out if you can't, if you, it's sometimes just easy to write it because it gets yeah. in your thoughts. All right, back to Tracy. So it's mouth ulcers, John. Mouth ulcers. For okay. a daughter. So for your daughter, it's mouth Oh, it's it. So generally speaking, our ulcers have got to do, again, we've look, got to look at pH as a big problem there. Mouth ulcers, especially if she's drinking that um, 
concentrated fruit juice, get rid of that for starters. Mm. Um, get some more alkaline water. Um, if you just buy it from Coles, you can buy the alkaline spring water okay. or whatever. That will help with that pH. A lot of ulcers have got to do with pH balance. Um, but it's in the mouth, so it's it's generally, I'm guessing it's about her not wanting to chew over a lot of things. She doesn't want to swallow what's what's being said, and she's fuming up in the mouth. So, But uh, it, it's sort of, it's a little bit more to diagnose than that, because I'd have to find out her age and a few other things to sort of narrow it down there a bit, Tracy. But yeah, first of all, I would look at the, the pH level, pH balance, a big one for kids. Um, and the alkaline spring water, you know, it's, it's coming up everywhere now at the supermarkets and that, so it's not hard to get anymore. And they'll drink it. For, ironically, my kids never drank water oh. until I got alkaline water. My now, kids don't. Now they just, you know, they, I, I stopped buying soft drink after a couple of months. I couldn't believe it. I had, I had normal spring water for years and they didn't touch it. Mm. Got the alkaline spring water, all of a sudden now that I stopped buying soft drink. Yeah, I, I buy like one bottle of peach iced tea a week and the rest of it's just water. They just drink straight alkaline water. All right. Where are we? Um, yeah, so Lorna's just saying guilt about what I didn't say to my dad to him. Yeah, well, no, the sarcasm. Yeah, <laughs> sarcasm. yeah, lots of things went unsaid. Thank you for the thing. Yeah. So yeah, just you can say it now. Sure. It's like, and remember, once once they pass over, they don't hold any of the grudges. None of the stuff yeah. that they had while they were here is is there anymore. They're, they're back into their pure spirit, which is which is benevolent. Uh, I mean, I couldn't recognise my mother when she passed over. She was went from this big, lovely cave woman <laughs> to, to this <laughs> wise woman that I couldn't believe when she passed over. Um, because, yeah, that, all of this Getting stuff... Getting the word slinger come through. I don't know if that means anything to you. Slinger. Or slinger. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, yeah, just say it now. It's just like, you know, just say what you need to say. But try and say both sides to say, you know, I hated that you did do this, but now I understand, you know, it's not that easy being a parent. And if you express both sides, um, say what you hated and then say how, you know, as an adult, you can understand how that would have been difficult or whatever. And that brings closure to it. And you'll find a lot of the guilt will go away. So, and, and just stop feeling guilty. Guilt's yeah. the most useless emotion of all. I know because otherwise you'll end up with me and you won't be able to touch a toes for 20 years. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> And a lot of that's other people's what they think you should have said. What, yeah. You know, it could be pick, you could be picking up. So one of the things, Lorna, I would say, just feel the pain, feel the tension, and each time just feel it and say, "Who is that mine? Is that mine?" And if it gets less tense, just say, "Return to sender" or "Piss off" or whatever you want to say. It's just like get away. Yeah, you got to so, find your words with that. So right? yeah, there's all different words. We all used to say, words. "Who does that belong to?" Return to sender. Return to sender if you're sort of in my age bracket or older <laughs> works because that was the thing back in the day. But you know, you know, piss off, or you can even say it doesn't really matter. That's not mine. That's not mine. Get, I generally do that. Throw it mind. out. You can, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hand action works that's really well. Mind. It's like so if you think focus on a pain or you focus on a feeling somewhere and it gets less intense, you say, "Is that mine?" And if it gets less intense, it's not yours. So you go mm -hmm. throw that away because ca more... carrying any of these pains yeah. is just ridiculous because. You're not helping anyone. We, we learn it as kids. We pick it up and then we think we're taking the sickness off our parents, but we're not. We're duplicating it. Now two people are sick and now there's more sickness in the world. So like if you can learn this tool to, to get rid of it and stand there without it and be the change, be the, you know, stand in the, free yourself. Absolutely. Then you can free that, you know, you can help them to be free. So that's it, John. That's it. So thank you guys. Been thank you all very much. Great for night. First week here. Sorry really, for the tech hiccup. Re with Zoom. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. So next week we'll have Zoom fixed up a bit better. So Hopefully. we'll be able to speak live. And don't forget, guys, we do, if you um, message BeQuest, we're giving away five um, half an hour free readings. Yep. If you're willing to leave it live on Facebook yeah. so we can use it for promotions. Yeah. But they're normally $150. We'll drop, some, so. yeah, we'll drop some links to our YouTube videos that we've mentioned a few times, all the different tools that we have. Uh, we're also running a course um, in the next Ooh. week or so, a beta course, oh, uh, yes. which what we call the um, non-competitive win-win co-creative human being, yes. or, or basically, you know, us. Wanting yeah. to be like us. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mindset. Com com the competitive based yeah. society, the competitive based system, um, which we all are. If you're on here, you automatically are. So um, it's just the way of us sort of working in, in co-creation instead of competing yeah. all the time, being in that world. Um, it's just a way of recognizing it and working more with the people yeah. who aren't competing. And it's it's a lot of what we've said. So it's yeah. really, you know, having the courage to face your, your own false fears, 
you know, as we call it. Um, the tools and techniques are easy, as you've heard, you know, um, but it's really a, you know, a comprehensive way of, of enabling you guys with a toolkit to start to own your shit, start to work through it um, and, and get back into co-creating. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, we're running that course. Um, we've got the free videos on YouTube. And next week you'll be able to chat live with us or drop a message if you want a free reading. Cool. So thank Alrighty you guys. guys. John thank and John much. from BeQuest. And See you next week. Thank you, Sarah, and the Spiritual Events Directory. Thank, thank you, guys. You, Sarah. Bye. Bye.